I've definitely traveled far before, but making this trip to Copenhagen through O'Hare alone made me only like 70% sure at any given point in time that what I was doing or where I was going was right. I mean, O'Hare is a pretty big and bustling place, and it's one that I don't usually make an effort to visit in my spare time. But like I was told that every 30 seconds, a plane either took off or lands. And it could have just been my luck, but the whole wing, or whatever you want to call it, in the international terminal where my flight was, was pretty empty for the whole four hours that I was there. And to add to the oddity of the place, being an international hub leads to a pretty weird combination of stores. For example, if you wanted to just ball out with a new Armani suit, you could do it. Or you could just walk next door and buy a cheap tourist t-shirt that you probably will never wear again. Or let's say you need a replacement necklace for that Michael Kors one that you lost in Monaco. You could just get this one instead. I mean, it's only nine dollars. Needless to say, I wasn't too sad to leave. After a night of pretty questionable airline meatballs and very little sleep, I could really just use my toothbrush and a change of clothes. But I kind of freaked myself out for about 10 or 15 minutes that they lost my luggage. And then I remembered that they also had to unload hundreds of suitcases that weren't mine. But there she was. My first impression of Copenhagen may not have been the most representative of the city, because most of our views from the metro were of the backs of apartments, concrete walls, parking lots, and just a bunch of shrubbery in general. But the closer we got to our stop, the cooler the city seemed to become. We found our apartment to be pretty indicative of Scandinavian design. Tons of windows, clean furniture, bright walls, light wood. Pretty cool in general. And the view looked over other apartments that were more or less similar to ours too. Pretty wide bike lanes relative to the street. And just about as many bikers as drivers it seemed. I couldn't wait to go out and explore it. <laughs> 